Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be a love reading for Virgo Sun Moon Rising and this is going to be your reading for April 2021. Okay, so without further ado, my darling, let's get into it. Okay, guys, guardians, ancestors, angels, and ancient gods, please give me clear and concise messages for Virgo Sun Moon Rising for April 2021. What does Virgo need to know regarding their love life for April 2021? Okay, what is going on in Virgo's love life for April 2021? What is going on in Virgo's love life? April 2021. Oh, you guys got a lot going on. What's going on? Ay, ay, ay. Let's see. Okay, keep in mind also this is a general reading. Okay. So there's going to be a lot of different messages coming through. Take what resonates with you. Okay. If you'd like a private reading, please feel free to go to zenwithinme.com and you can purchase that or some spell work there. Okay. All righty. Let me actually do it this way because then you guys could probably see the cards a little bit better. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see what's going on. Okay. All right. So what's immediately coming through is for some of you, you might be in a relationship with somebody right now um, that is going, they, they're getting um, an opportunity. Could be a promotion. Um, it could just be an opportunity where now this could either be what's happening with you or what's happening with the person you're involved in. Okay. Somebody's getting either a promotion or an opportunity at work and they may need to travel. Um, I'm seeing it might be like by car, you know, um, and I don't know, you, you feel that something is not right about it. You may not believe that this is what is going on with your person. You might be thinking like, you know, they're doing something else, that they're not being honest, that there's something hidden here. And, you know, your intuition is telling you like, red flag and you're losing sleep you're you're up at night like this doesn't sit well with you whether they've gone already or not uh this is something that could have happened in the past you don't trust that what they said is is the truth um now either this is how you feel towards them or this is how they feel towards you you're doing things in moderation though you you may have kept it to yourself I feel like you could be the one that's keeping it a secret that you don't trust them that you don't believe them you may be like you know what I I want to have proof before I open my mouth you know uh because I don't want to say something and then if if I am correct if my intuition is correct that there's something shady going on here by me giving them a heads up I'm alerting them to cover the tracks better so I would rather say nothing and just do things in moderation. But in the meantime, you're keeping it a secret and you're losing sleep. Yeah, you're you're not happy with this at all. Um, but in doing things in moderation, I'm feeling here that you're getting to the point where you're just going to want to, like, retaliate. Like, something's going to happen one day. It's going to be something small. But because you have all of this that you're keeping quiet and it's building up, one day you're just gonna, you're just gonna like go at them full throttle and they're not gonna understand where this is coming from because you didn't tell them. So you're just gonna like come out in like retaliation mode and I'm, I'm feeling here that once this all comes out, you're, you're gonna need some time alone. You know, or you may exile them or you may exile yourself. Okay, see, like with the Four of Swords here, 
this is an energy of like exile, side of solitude, rest, needing a break. So you, you might lash out at this person and then just be like, you know what? We need some time. I need time. We need time apart. And you're in defensive mode. You know, it could even be something that has to do with this situation where you just can't keep it up anymore. You can't keep it to yourself anymore. And you may just burst out and say something and say, you know what? The, no, no, it's not true. And this, this, and that. No, I don't believe you. Uh, I, we need some time apart. You know, I, I'm in defensive mode. I'm protecting myself. I don't feel this is the truth here. I don't feel this is what's really going on here. You know, there, there's definitely something more to the story. It doesn't make sense. Like, I'm not buying it. Okay. And then I feel here with the Knight of Wands, this could be a change of residence. Okay. So if somebody is like, if you're living together right now, you might, you might move out temporarily. You may kick them out temporarily. Um, because like I said here, I see it's like a, a resting period, needing a break. You might just be like, you know what? I need to get away for a little bit. Um, I don't see so much a vacation, but you know, I, I do see... I do see separation, you know. Now, this could also be somebody's planning a trip. Somebody, like I said, this is a general reading. So they could say, oh, yeah, I'm going away for work. Um, and it's, it's not. They're, they're keeping the truth secret they may be doing something else, you know, and they might be losing some sleep, feeling guilty over what they're doing. Um, but they're still doing things day by day. So if this is somebody that's cheating, you know, um, you'll know the difference. Um, I, I do see here, they may pick a fight with you. Okay. They may pick a fight with you because they're feeling guilty and just like, you know what I need, I need some time away. I need a break, you know, uh, I, I don't like what you're accusing me of and this, this, and that. So they're going to leave and they're going to go away on this trip. You know, they're just going to get in the car and go, you know, and they, they don't want to be bothered. They're picking a fight because they want to do what they want to do and they don't want to feel guilty about it. So if they pick a fight with you, then you'll leave them alone. They'll get the like privacy and quiet that they wanted. And you may be, or you might be doing this to someone else also. Keep this in mind. It can go either way. Um, and, uh, you know, it's just a scapegoat. It, it, it's like s smoke and mirrors. Okay. All right. So that's a major message I have coming through. So this is for select people. This is not going to resonate with everyone. And like I said, this is a general reading. My guides come through with what they feel is needed for those that need it. Okay. So let's see, what are the messages do we have for Virgo Sun Moon Rising? For April 2021 in their love life. What other messages do we have for Virgo? All right, so let's see what other messages do we have. We have heart with a key, welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together. Perfect. Okay, so you might be dealing with a cheater here and they're going to meet up with somebody else. Now, you don't know if this other person is aware that they're already in a relationship. So my advice always, don't get pissed off at the other person. You don't know what they know. You don't know what's going on. The one you should be most pissed off at is the one that's in the relationship with you because they're the ones that come home to you every day and lie straight to your face, not the other person. Everybody likes to blame the other person because they love the one they're with and they don't want them to leave. So they're just looking for a reason to hold on. But the reality is that's the person that stabbed you in the back in the first place. That's the person that you should deliver all of your anger and animosity to. Okay. Then we have hand of cards, take a chance, risk, being strategic, options, not showing hands and gambling. So for some of you, this is definitely a cheating situation going on here. They feel that they met someone else. For some, I apologize for the dogs outside. I can't control them. Uh, they feel that they've met somebody else and this person actually gives them the recognition that they deserve, okay? Um, that they feel maybe you're not giving them, or this is how you feel, that you found somebody that sees you for you, appreciates you for you, and you feel that this is the one. So, you know, you're, you're doing what you're doing. You're taking a chance, you're taking a risk, you're being strategic here, picking a fight, you know, or like I said, this is what they're doing to you picking a fight to go off so they have a reason to not talk to you so they don't have to get in trouble because if they leave things on good terms they feel more like a douchebag 
and then there's more communication between the two of you. But if there's a fight, they don't feel guilty, and then they have a reason not to talk to you. So it's like they don't get into trouble. Well, I was ignoring you because I was mad at you. That's not why. Hand of cards. Not showing hand gambling. So there, there's definitely a risk here. There's definitely a chance being taken with this whole cheating situation. But for those of you that have nothing to do with this, then we have here my singles. New love coming in. Meeting the one. Getting together. Taking a chance on this person. Saying, hey, you know what? Let me see where this goes. This might be good. So it doesn't have to all do with this. General reading. Different messages. Okay. All right, so having said that, now let's go to my initials, traits, and features deck. This is the Oracle deck that I've created. It is available for purchase, and from now until April 30th, 30th, if you purchase your own deck, I will give you a free gift. The link's down below in the description box. Okay, so let's see. Let's get some letters, some initials. Who is Virgo dealing with? Who is Virgo dealing with? Who is Virgo dealing with? Okay, so we're going to get the initials of this person. Now this is for my singles on a positive note. New person coming in that you're going to take a, a gamble with, you're going to take a chance on. Or for those of you in this sticky situation of uh, possible cheating here. Uh, I didn't see other people come up, but you know, it could be cheating. It could be something else that they're doing that's shady. Okay, there's a number of things. So you just piece it together with whatever makes sense in your world if this part of the reading resonates with you. Okay, we're also going to get some letters that will describe your person or place or thing to connect you to your person. Okay. Because I'm doing a general reading, I'm going to pull a lot of cards. Normally, if it was private, I would just do like three shuffles and be done with it. Okay. Last shuffle. Also, these cards are great if you've lost an item. They help you find lost items. And um, you don't have to be psychic to use these cards. These cards, um, you are connecting with your guides that are always with you anyway. So this is an easier way to connect with your guides and communicate and get the answers that you seek, whatever it may be, love, career, any question, it will give you the letters to spell out words or, you know, give you the messages to read into them and see, oh, okay, this is what you're trying to say to me. Okay, so we have here, like I was saying, they'll spell things out. We have the word pain spelled out. So someone's going to be in a lot of pain here, a lot of heartbreak, a lot of pain when the truth of whatever it is that's going on here comes out. Okay, uh, also the name Cain is spelled out here, C-A-I-N. You might be dealing with somebody named Cain. You might meet a new person that is fresh and new and nothing to do with this. Uh, their name may be Cain, okay? Or it could be, I'm also getting like Caitlin. Uh, let's see. Also, I'm seeing here mapping. Now, I want to show you how this works. Mapping, I'm seeing somebody's got a like a GPS on somebody, or you're able to follow their locations. Somebody, might have, say, somebody may have some kind of tracking device where you can map out where they've been, Google, location sharing, something like that. But I'm going to show you how I got to mapping. Okay, so we have map. Now, in this deck, you have one of every letter. You can double up. You see something, like I look at this, my guides tell me mapping. I hear mapping, I think GPS, I think location. You know, what makes sense with this reading? Oh, somebody's going to find somebody's ass. Where you at? You know, where you been? I'm on to you. You know, I'm not stupid. So you double up P, add a G, mapping, you know? Okay. Also, something with a pin. Somebody might have someone's pin. They're going to start going into their phone or bank account or anything like that. Uh, I'm also seeing uh, camp, camping, camping is actually pretty much spelled out. The only word, uh, letter that's missing is the camp, the only letter missing is the G. Camping, somebody's going camping, all right, they might say they're going camping. I mean, we got the car here, outdoors. Now, this new person that you may get involved with, they may like to go camping. You know, this isn't all negative, all right? Again, general reading. If you feel 
that this part of the reading resonates with you and you want some private details, please feel free to go to zenwithemmy.com and purchase a reading, and I'll be more than happy to help you with this. Okay, and if you want to know more about this new person that's coming into your life, we can do the same thing. It's all good. All right, now these can also stand for initials, C-A-M-P-I-N, however it resonates, okay? All right, so let's see. What are the traits and features of who Virgo is dealing with? I'm also seeing champagne. Somebody's drinking champagne. Okay, so somebody here is fashionable. Oh, we got lots of letters here. Okay, thank you. Slim. Independent. Spiritual. Something about their cologne, perfume, or scent that you absolutely adore. And they are trustworthy. Okay, well, obviously, this is for the new person that you're meeting here. Let me fix that for you. Okay, there we go. You can see that a little bit better. All right, so let's see. What other messages do we have here for you? Over a girl. What else do we have for Virgo for April 2021? What's going on in their love life? What else does Virgo need to know regarding their love life for April 2021? Get some more details about Virgo's person. All right, last shuffle. Any messages from this deck for Virgo regarding their person? Okay, thank you. Oh, oh, all right, you're waiting for the very end. Okay, all right. All right, we've got quite a few cards now. Let's see. We have speaker. Your life purpose involves your skills of oration. Okay, so speaker. So your person, regardless of the situation, uh, might be some kind of speaker. Could also be a lot of communication. Practice. Polish your skills by practicing regularly. Okay, so uh, they may be learning something new. They may pr be practicing to be more of a public speaker. Um, this can also be somebody that, in reference to this naughty situation, I'll put it that way, they've been doing this for a while. Like, practice makes perfect. This is something that they've been doing for a while, like, you know, talking a good game. Strength. Everything you've experienced in your life has made you strong and courageous. So uh, for you new people, for you people, uh, new love, strength. This person has a lot of strength. Creative expression. Your soul longs to express itself creatively. This person is also very creative. They may have been practicing their creativity also. Something that like they're, they're learning now, like I said protected you are safe and supported while you change your career so they might be in the middle of changing careers they may have been in law enforcement or the military or something of that nature in the past and body work your life purpose involves body work such as massage therapy energy healing physical therapy or exercise training and i also see a tattoo artist with this card okay so that's something else that uh, is good to learn about your new person as a possibility okay so let's see what messages do we have for Virgo for April 2021 regarding their love life. And you know, I'm just seeing here with pin and protected, uh, where it says you're, you're safe while you're changing careers, but I also see like a military or law enforcement. This pe person might have, I'm getting like a pin in their knee or something like that, or like pins and needles, something from a, a past injury. Um, and with camp, I'm seeing like it, it could have been um, like 
they were prior military when they were in like a uh, boot camp or some kind of camp overseas or something like that something may have happened where now they have like a pin somewhere in their body or something may have happened from a pin with a grenade like these are other uh, messages that are coming through in regards to this okay so what other messages do we have for virgo regarding their love life for april 2021 okay well we have father healing here your personal power increases as you give any father related issues to heaven Okay, so this is somebody that may have had, had uh, daddy issues or if you have children with this person um, and it's questionable for you to move forward, you know, with releasing yourself from the relationship because, excuse me, you have children, um, you may just decide that your personal power increases as you just don't dwell on that. I mean, to each their own, everybody's situation is completely different. You, you do what you got to do. Um, but it may be best for you, depending on your situation, to just like not, not allow that to be held over your head if you're in this kind of situation. Like it should not be okay for you to be mistreated and disrespected because this is the father of your children. This is not your doing. You are not garbage. So it, it's not fair to let somebody try and hang that over your head. So you just think about that. Now, throughout this reading, whether it's with this situation here or you're seeking new love, um, if you've had a yes or no question throughout this reading, I have an answer for you. Okay, the answer is yes. Your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. Okay. All right, so those are your messages, Virgo. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, watching, and subscribing. Please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Um, if you are interested in a private reading, like I said, zenwithemmy.com. Everything is down below in the description box. If you want daily content, follow me on TikTok. Peace and love, guys. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next reading.